Hello, everybody. Okay, here's your movie for this weekend. It's about chapter five, ratios and proportions. You're going to fill out your math notebook a little differently. Um, you're going to put some different terms on different pages just so we're ready for the next couple of chapters, okay? As you can see, there's a lot in this chapter, okay? But that's all right. We know how to do this stuff. Remember, I'm teaching sixth grade, and I'm teaching the exact same thing to sixth grade. So you were exposed to this last year. So none of it's really that new. All right. Okay. Let's go. All right. Key terms, vocabulary, chapter five movie. What is different this time is what I just said. You will be writing on at least three different pages in your math notebook. As I go through this, make sure you follow directions. Okay, you ready? You ready? So let me flip over to this. All right, your math notebook. On the right-hand side, that's the left, this is the right. Brand new, fresh page. Chapter 5, Ratios and Proportions. Please title that that. Ratios and Proportions. Remember, you can pause the movie at any time. All right. A ratio. A ratio is a comparison of two quantities using division. You can write a ratio in three ways. 3 over 4 as a fraction, 3 to 4, or 3 colon 4. Okay. I'm going to switch back to your notebook. Okay. Our next term, a rate. A rate is a ratio of two quantities with different units. For instance, 60 miles to two hours. Two quantities, different units. The unit there is miles. The second unit is hours. Okay. Our third term unit rate a rate okay a rate with a denominator of one okay so 30 miles in one hour 30 miles to one hour okay 30 to one all right the last phrase i'm sorry key term for 5.1 on this page is complex fraction. A complex fraction has at least one fraction in the numerator, denominator, or both. Okay, I'm going to show you the examples. One fourth over one half, or as a ratio, one fourth to one half. One to one half or one half to four, okay? Okay, so that's your first page. Turn the page, go to 5.2, 5.2. I'm gonna go back to the movie. All right, 5.2. Three terms for this page, proportion, numbers, and cross products. We'll talk about this in a second. A proportion is an equation stating that two ratios are equivalent. Two quantities that form a proportion are proportional. So let's look at this in numbers. 2 over 3 equals 4 over 6. The proportion is read 2 is to 3 as 4 is to 6 you know that that's an equivalent fraction. 2 times 2 is 4, and 3 times 2 is 6. Those fractions mean the same thing, express the same quantity. All right? Cross products. It's an easy way to check to see if two ratios are equivalent. The cross products of a proportion are equal. This number again, 
2 over 3, 4 over 6. 2 times 6 is 12. 3 times 4 is 12. When that happens, they are proportional. Okay, I'm going to flip back to my notebook. There it is. Proportion. How it looks in numbers. And the cross products. Okay. All right. We're going to the next page, which we're going to skip a page. I'll explain why later. So our next heading is 5.4. This is something we have seen before. It's the multiplication property of equality. We saw this back in chapter 2 or 3, I think. Multiplying each side of an equation by the same number produces an equivalent equation. So let's look at this. Look at just this one. 8 equals 7 plus 1, right? 8 is the same thing as 7 plus 1. Those are equivalent, both sides. Multiply the 8 by 2 and the 7 plus 1 by 2. It's the same thing. This is still an equivalent expression, right? That equals 16, that equals 16. Okay? All right. One of the most fun yet challenging parts of this chapter is this next one. So go to your next page. It's called slope. I'm going to go back to the uh, Promethean board. Slope. 5.5 is the rate of change between any two points on a line. How it changes from here to here. It is a measure of the steepness of the line. All right, to find the slope of a line, find the ratio of the change in y will be your numerator. That's your vertical change, how it changes going this way, all right, to the change in x, your horizontal change, all right, going this way. So... My change in y, I start off at, let's do the change in x first. My x point is 2 and 3. There's my first point, x, y. Then my next point is on the 4 on the x-axis. So 2 and 4, the change in that is 2. The change in 3 to 6 is 3. All right. In your math notebooks, that's what it, how it should look. The change in y over the change in x. All right? That's your math video for the weekend. Now, this probably took you about 15 minutes probably to write everything. Think how much time we just gave ourselves for learning on Monday where we don't have to write this stuff. Okay. Any questions, you know you can get a hold of me through class jump. All right. Thank you. Have a great weekend. All right.